So Jack wanted to know, Walter's World, is it difficult to travel to countries you don't speak the language? I'll be honest with you, I've traveled to, I know, 70, 80 countries and I do not speak 70 or 80 languages and I've had a great time everywhere we've gone. You do not have to speak the local language when you travel. Now, it's always good to know a few words, you know, please, thank you, you're welcome, where's the bathroom? Those kind of things can really ingratiate yourself with the locals and help you have a better time, but you don't have to know the language when you go places. And what's cool is if you travel and you don't know the language, sometimes it makes it a little more exciting, like, I don't know what this is. I'm just gonna point and get whatever it is. And you know, so you can make friends that way. But honestly, it's never held me back from traveling. And here's the thing is, you might go to countries where you already speak the language, but it might be something you don't understand. Like I'm here in the north of England and when I get people that have a really strong accent, sometimes I'm like, excuse me? What did you say? Or, or maybe you, you had Spanish in school and you can understand you know, Spanish from Mexico completely, totally easy, totally fine. And then you go to Puerto Rico and you're like, what? That was, well, hold on, slow down, you know? And so, so don't worry about the language when you travel because in the tourism industry, English is the language of tourism. So wherever you go in the world, they're probably gonna have guides, they're gonna have you know, signs, they're gonna have stuff to help tourists in the local language and then probably something in English to help them out. So if you speak English, you're probably gonna be okay. Other languages, it can make it more difficult, but honestly, you don't, you don't have to speak the local language. It's okay to travel to places where you don't. I know for me, like I said, sometimes it's been the most wonderful experience just being to meet locals and they teach me what cheers is in that country or, or what the drink I'm supposed to have when I'm there or the, the right way to eat those sardines in Portugal. Yeah, you can learn that even if you don't speak that language, all right? So Jack, don't think that not speaking the local language will keep you from enjoying your travels, all right? Have a great one. If you have questions for us, put them in the comments section below so we can help other people have great travels as well, whether you speak the language or not, or if you think you speak the language, you still might understand them. Bye from here in York.